Oh, you should have never seen her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, what a wonderful time to play. Hello, everybody, and today I'm playing The Walking Dead Telltale Story Season 1, Episode 1. I'm going to be playing. Um, I hope you guys come and join me in, in this ride. Thank you. I was just letting you see if anybody jumps in in the stream. Um, nobody has. But I'm going to start now. We're going to start this game now. Get it. Uh. Turn the controller back on. Yeah, you, cause now you got to hear me double. Alright, I'm back. Let's start it. Well, I reckon you didn't do it then. Alright, let's take that stream off. I always forgot that. Let's remove it. Remove the stream. And now we're gone. Now we could do this. And the grace of God, let's begin, guys. See, what do you say? Why do you say that? You know what they say about. Does it really matter? Uh, oh, excuse me, guys. Hmm. No, no, definitely not. I didn't answer that. Well, I've driven a bunch of fellas down to this prison. I did not answer well, that. How many? Usually it's about now I get the, I didn't do it. You ain't gonna get that from me every time. Every time? Every time. Oh, you want me to do it? Remember, I gotta be picking asshole choices. Now it's telling me to look around. I don't want to look around. I'm back in this car. Let's see what they want us to look around. They want us to look around. Look at that. Isn't it a beautiful day? Look at the rearview mirror right there. Why? I followed your case a little bit. You being a making boy and all. Oh, yeah. You've got an opinion then? Wouldn't say that. I go in for that innocent till proven guilty thing, even considering who they say you killed. Do you know who I killed? Why don't you mind your business, old man? I don't know why he's all up in my business like that, little son of a gun. I got a nephew up at UGA. Oh yeah, you he's probably in long? prison too. Killed him a six year. You meet your wife in Athens? None of your business. You want to know how I see it? How? Not really. Not really. Well, too bad. It's my car. Uh, you might have the right to remain silent, but it don't mean I gotta be. 
This guy's a son of a bitch. Pay attention to the road, you asshole. Regardless, could be you just married the wrong woman. Fuck you. <sighs> say it! Don't give me the choice and not say it. Say it to that old fucker. I can't say shit because I'm old too. At least I feel old. I'm driving this man once. He he was the worst one. Oh, he God, wouldn't stop talking going to on me. about how he didn't do it. He was an older fella. Big soft eyes behind a pair of smart folk glasses. And he just wailing back there. Says it wasn't him. Crying and snotting all over right where you sit. You talk too much, you know that? Then before long, he starts kicking the back of the seat like, like a fussy baby on an airplane. I wonder why. And he's got to stop. But that's government property, and I'll be forced to zap him otherwise. So he stops, and having exhausted all his options, he starts crying out for his mama. I will mama, too. Mama, it's all a big mistake. It wasn't me. So did he do it? Well, Black I got nothing Mountain, to say to that. Tell you something. They caught the fucker red-handed, stabbing oh. his wife, cutting her up as the boys came through the door. He sits in my car, screaming bloody murder that it wasn't him. I think he actually believed it himself. It goes to show, people up and go mad when they believe their life is over. Yeah. Well, I got another good one for you. This one's a little bit less depressing. Pay attention. Hilarious, Pay attention. So. Like, this other time we. Come on, bitch. Oh, man. Fucking cop wants to talk all that crap instead of paying attention to the road, and now he's dead. And I get the glory, hopefully, to punch. to kill him. Oh, we already know what we gotta do. Close your eyes, open them wide. Maybe we got a chance to survive. Oh, holy. Yeah, I'm thirsty Fuck. too, Lee. My leg. Legs aft. There goes the body. Hey, hey, officer! Why are you calling are you him? Alive? He's dead. He's I'm gone. still cuffed back here. Officer? Oh, that doesn't look good. No, oh, he's he gone, buddy. Get out of there. I need to drag myself out that window. So let's go. Let's get the hell out of there. Boom. What's next? Damn. Use left stick to move along the car. Hurry up. The officer's shotgun is on. Grab it! Looks empty. It'll be easier to carry with these cuffs off. What a little prick. What a little prick. Oh, God, guys. Officer? God damn. 
grab the keys. Ha! <laughs> grab the crap. Why are you so afraid? You don't know zombies exist right now, so I I don't understand this. Open the key and let's get out of here. Officer. Oh! Get away from me! Don't make me do this! There, blew your brains out! I blew your brains out! It's kinda satisfying! When I'm blowing your brain out. Man. Yeah, man. His skin's all rotten and he smells like shit. Ha. What the hell is this? Look at look at this freaking girl. Help! Go get someone! There's been a Help me. Excuse me! Uh oh. Maybe it's time to run. Run, run, run. Oh man. They're all over the place. Go ahead. Need a fucking break. All these zombies. Oh, they're going somewhere else. They heard a gunshot. Where am I? Alright, you gotta refocus. Let's see what's in this apartment. They're gonna make Hello? me look around here. Hello? Anybody? Anybody here? I wonder if anybody's home. Uh. Do we gotta find a key? Hello? Anybody home? Anybody here? I need a little help. Are you right, man? How far are you? How far are you? Are you right, man? Hello? There's something going on. Good, I thought I was gonna in. have to find a key. Don't shoot, okay? <laughs> Playing too much Resident Evil. Uh oh. We're loading! Come on, man, get that leg fixed. I'm not an intruder. Yes, you are. I'm one of them. Um, technically, you are an intruder, man. I need more help than I do. Oh, can't just drop like that. This guy's a dutch. Hmm. 
What else? Marshals. That's a Savannah area code. But that's the type of note you'd leave a babysitter. Yeah. What's that beeping? Hmm. Marshals. That's a Savannah area code. But that's the type of note you'd leave a babysitter. Oh, you like to repeat yourself, huh? Let's see what's in here. Oh, that's nice. This place has been ransacked. Just yeah. about anything worthwhile is gone. Nothing. Can we drink that? Good. <sighs> Let's go hear that message that they so desperately want us to hear. Jesus. Hello? I'm the Mike DeGrag. Something on there. Three new messages. Message one left at 5.43 p.m. Hey, Sandra. This is Diana. We're still in Savannah. Uh, Ed had a little incident with some crazy guy near the hotel, so we had to get him back to the ER and have it checked out. Anyway, he's not feeling well enough to drive back tonight, so we're staying an extra day. Thanks so much for looking after Clementine, and I promise we'll be back in time before your spring break. Message uh, two. He's dead. Left at 11.19 p.m. Oh my god, finally. I don't know if you tried to reach us. All, all the calls are getting dropped. They're not letting us leave and aren't telling us anything about Atlanta. Please, please, just leave the city and take Clementine with you back to Murrieta. I've, I've got to get back to the hospital. Please let me know that you're safe. No. Message three, left at 6.51 a.m. Clementine, baby, if you can hear this, call yep. the police. Nine one one. We love you. We love you. We love you. And that's the last time they heard Clementine heard of from their parents. Daddy? Huh? No, it's not your daddy. Hello? You need to be quiet. Who you talking to like that little girl? Who is this? Who is this? I'm Clementine. This is my house. Hi, Clementine. I'm Lee. You're not my daddy. No, I'm not. How old are you? Eight. And you're all alone? Yes. Why? I don't know where anybody is. How old are you? I'm, uh... Where's your babysitter? Okay. Where are your parents? You know where her parents are at. They took a trip and it's left good me to with Sandra. Just They're ask stupid Savannah, questions. They're in I think. Where the boats are? Where are you? I'm outside in my tree house. They can't get in. Oh, they stay too. See? Can you see me? I can see you through the window. <laughs> try to kill me. She tried to distract me. She tried to distract me. Oh, oh my. This guy is a fucking idiot.
Go, go! Come on, keep on! Keep on! Oh my god! Scared the shit out of me. Thank you, Clementine, but nobody told you to help me. Man. Hi there. Did you kill it? What do you think? Yes. It's okay. I think she was a monster. Yeah, I think so too. You've been all by yourself through this? Yeah, I want my parents to come home now. They're not. I think that might be a little while. Yeah. You know? Oh. Not gonna happen. Look, I don't know what happened, but I'll look after you until then. You're not. What should we do now? Get out of here at once. We need to get out of this neighborhood. It's not safe. We're less likely to be seen if we move at night. My parents might come home. We won't go far. We'll try to find shelter and come back here with others. That sounds good. But we can hide in my treehouse until then. It'll be a tough climb with this leg, but that's a good idea. Let's go. Stay close to me. Now let's stay quiet. We'll head out to the front yard and follow the road out of the neighborhood. Okay. It'll be okay. Stay near me, and we'll move as fast as we can. I'll act like I'll protect you, but not really. I'll protect you, but I wouldn't protect you for anything. I'm all on my own. I'm all on my own. Come inside, where you think you're going? Clementine. What do you want me to look at? Oh, that's what you want me to look at. That's what you want me to look at. I see it. Follow me, Clementi. Oh, the bastard. Why am I a bastard? Are we going to die? Yes, we are, Clementi. I'm sure we're fine. I should not put that nothing. Stay there! Georgia State Patrol! Dude, he won't listen to that. I'll come quietly. There's a little girl here. Don't shoot me, shoot her. Oh, you're sure it. Oh, shit, you're not one of those things. Neither of us are. Wait, why'd you say you'd come quietly? Just confused. You know, didn't want any trouble. I almost took your head off. We're sorry about that. Well, Andre's sorry about that. It's Officer Mitchell. Okay, it's time to be a dick. My name's Sean. Sean Green. This is Andre. Officer Mitchell. Did you see any of those things? One of them just got our buddy Chet. Just the girl inside, a lot of them. No, not for a while. 
Looks like you cut the shit out of yourself. My leg. Shut up. Yeah, it's hurt pretty bad. Look, help us find the thing that got our buddy, and we'll take you and your daughter down to my dad's farm to safety. He should be able to fix your leg up too. I'm not a dad. Um. Just some guy. Some guy? Yeah. She's alone? Yeah, she is not in her mind. Are. Let's get a move on. We just w Oh shit. It's Chet. Let's go. Get the car. Go. Get them there. Gotta make a bad choice. Say hi to your dad. Yeah. I'm sorry, Sean. Chet was a good dude. One it's okay. It's okay. Take care of you two. Shut up. Thank God you're okay. I was worried it'd be bad here, too. Been quiet as usual the past couple days. Well, breaking down the way things of marriage. Now I'm gonna be harassed and, and investigate. I ran into Andre outside of Atlanta and uh, Chet. He got killed. This should no. be interesting. You're kidding. Those things got him. Dad, I don't know what's going on. I'm sorry, Sean. You brought a couple guests. Yes, I did. Do you mind? Your boy's a lifesaver. Well, well he could be a help to somebody. So it's just you and your daughter then? Oh, not his daughter. He's, well, just some guy who found her alone. Honey, do you know this man? Yes. Okay then. Well, looks like you hurt your leg pretty bad there. Uh, yeah, it's not doing so good. I can help you out. Sean, run on in and check on your sister. You take a seat up on the porch and I'll go see what I have. I don't like this little punk. I'm gonna be a dickhead. Damn. My bad. My bad. My bad. My bad. Let's have a look. Yeah. This is swollen to hell. Could be worse. That's what it sounds like. Seems like things got awful bad in the cities. What did you say your name was? Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter, right? Ha. Huh. Well, if you're gonna be here overnight, I'm gonna need it. Unless you'd rather hit the road. It's Lee. Yeah, my sure I said right ahead. Just the road. Lee, I take it. I'm Herschel Green. How'd this happen? I don't even remember. It's crazy back there in the city. Hmm. It must be. What type of danger has the girl seen? Who knows? She had a few lonely days with nothing but the dead keeping her company. I still just can't imagine it. Consider yourself lucky. House is full up with mine. We got another displaced family of three sleeping in the barn. Oh, really? Your daughter are welcome to rest there. It's not my daughter. I didn't get your name, darling. Clem Clementine. Can't imagine what you've been through, Clementine. Oh, shut up, um, old man. Looking after her until we uh, find her parents. 
Hey, Dad, so I'm thinking, first thing tomorrow, we got to reinforce the fence around the farm. Do we? With what happened to your friend, maybe that's not a bad idea. Damn, I can't be a dick. It smells like... Crap. Shit. <gasps> I'm sorry, I shouldn't talk like that. That was a swear. I missed my mom and dad. Uh, excuse me. I bet, Clem. How far is Savannah? Pretty far. Oh. <laughs> ah, okay. It was all a dream. I don't know how could somebody sleep in an apocalypse like that. Hey, that get has up. To be wired. <sighs> what the hell are you waking up? I'm up? itchy. Well, you slept in a barn, little lady. Lucky you don't have spiders in your hair. <gasps> but I bet your daddy scared them all away, huh? I'm uh, not her dad. Babe, sleep. I'm Kenny. Dad, we're in no offense. There's a tractor and everything. We better get going, or we won't hear the end of it. That's my boy, Ken Jr. We call him Duck, though. Where do parents name their kids Duck? We're from Fort Lauderdale. We were on our way back before things up and went bananas. The word is you were on your way to Macon. My family's from there. Well, Macon's on the way, and personally, I'd appreciate the company of a guy who can knock a couple of heads together if he has to. No thanks. Sure, I'll tackle that. Thanks, but no thanks. Damn, I'm not friend. interested. You must be some kind of something if you think you two can survive out there on your own. Honey, Duck, this is Lee. And, uh, what's the girl's name? Clementine. Clementine. That is a very pretty name. Thanks. Well, we should get to work. We've all seen what those things can do out there, so the faster we get this fence up, the better. I want to build a fence. Yeah? Well, I need a good foreman. You can sit on the tractor and yell at me whenever I take a water break. On the tractor? Cool! Duck and I will hop to it. I can keep an eye on your little girl here on the porch. We can visit. It's not the most reliable pickup in the world, but it gets the job done. Hey there, uh, Kenny. So what's your family's plan? Get back on down to Lauderdale and let this mess get sorted out. The government will start handing out shots and the National Guard will do its thing. That's what you on think. the odd chance things got too bad, we could... Hop on my boat, I guess. You've got a boat. I'm a commercial fisherman, catching mackerel, dolphin, whatever's biting and paying. Katya wouldn't be wild about it, but the boat's not that bad. See you. So nothing there. Just walking around the world today. Why are you saying hi to him? How you doing? Good. I'm gonna drive the tractor. No, you're not. Lift with your back, Sean. You know how to drive it? Sure don't. I can give you a hell of a critique of the U.S. Farm Bill, though. I'm good.
Hey, Lee. Need a hand? That'd be great. If you could cut those two bites to length, that sure speed things up. I could do that. Better not do it. Better doing that than nothing. My dad doesn't know how bad it is. No, he doesn't. Oh God, he's gonna. I saw a guy in Atlanta kill a kid, a boy. Just shot him right in the face. Wow. You gotta do what you can to survive. Yep. Put a gun to that kid's head and pulled the trigger. Fuck that man. He didn't even hesitate. He just turned, put the barrel of the gun right between the kid's eyes. Hey, you gotta do it. Pull the trigger. You don't see things like that. It's not like in the movies. They don't fall like you think. Did you have to do it? Do what? Kill. Have you had to off one yet? Oh, uh... Plenty. I bashed a poor girl, so... I had to shoot one. I could shoot one. Maybe. If it were far away. I'm just glad we're getting this fence built. Dad just wants to keep the family safe and thinks inviting people in is a bigger threat than whatever's out there. How about yours? How's your family? Um, not too close with my family. Oh, well, they weren't in Atlanta, right? So that's good. That's probably all I need cut for now. Thanks. I'm sorry about your friend. No, you're not. Thanks. I appreciate it, man. Anyway, when you see my dad around, he might want some help in the barn. Hey, Lee. Still need a hand? I'm good. Maybe go check on my dad in the barn? Hey, Lee. Still need a hand? I'm good. Nah. Maybe go check on my dad in the barn? No. Hey, Lee. Still need a hand? I'm He's... good. Maybe go check on my dad in the barn? Alright, go fuck yourself. I see. Do you, uh, think this thing will keep him out? Not yet. I'm planning on coming back through on a fortification pass, if you will. We'll lock this place up good. Do you, uh, think this thing will keep I'm annoying him. Not yet. I'm planning on coming back through on a fortification pass, if you will. We'll lock this place up good. Let's go bug his father now. Seems like those two are getting along. You having a nice time with Katya Clementine? Yeah. Hey there, girls. How did you handle getting through the city? Kenny just drove. We passed so many people that needed help, and we just what a bit. passed people. Yeah, over you guys are assholes. Just, just uh, it's I'm gonna okay. murder. It's fine. You don't have to say anymore. I want to go home tomorrow, but even then I can't take away the things we... the things Doc went through. Don't you want to go back to the moment before you no. knew about all of this? Things were bad before. Bad now, but they're different, you see? People are eating each other. But they weren't before. The banks, the politics, the, the crap. Those yep. things are gone. Tell them. Hell comes in a lot of different colors. I'll tell them. Back Let's ask it. Okay, Lee. Let's see if we can murder Marshall here. Or Harsh, or whatever your freaky name is. I wish I could murder him right here. You should know that if you weren't leaving with Kenny today, I wouldn't stand for your lack of honesty last night. I'm not sure I'd follow. A man asks you your name, you give it. Unless oh! that means no good. 
How'd you get out of Atlanta? I was... Uh... Well, I'm sure it was complicated. Well, this farm's a nice plot of land. <laughs> Don't <laughs> say shit. If you told shit, me 20 dude. years ago I'd still be doing this, I would have told you that you were full of crap. Never was a plan, having a place like this. It was in the family, and I guess so was I. Family's important. It's all that matters. You agree with that? Was brought up to, yes. Where's your family now? Parents? Wife? Girlfriend? No family, my parents are my crew, no wife anymore. Fine, no business. keep your mouth shut. Rude as hell, but what's a man to do? But now you've got this little girl to take care of. Clementine, is it? You just stumbled up on her? I was being attacked, where are you getting at? I was ah. being attacked and she came to my rescue. I meant to put where you getting at. Hmm. Can I give you a piece of advice? No. What is it? Mind your own business. Yeah. Mind your own business. There you go. I don't know who you are or what you did. Let's say things don't get better back in the cities, or they get worse before they do. You're going to have to depend on the honesty of strangers if you're going to make it. And if those same people get to questioning yours, you're going to be in trouble. Oh, and trying to be less of an asshole would serve you just fine. What a Nah, I should let your son die. Go! I'll get my gun! Help, Chai. Sean, I got you. I got you, my friend. Come on, you gotta save Sean! Sean! I try to save you! I try to save you, Sean! I'm okay, Pop. I'm okay. I can fix you, don't worry. We'll stitch you up. It, it almost... It almost got me, man. It, he tried to save me. I so I won't so. save the boy. I... Uh, uh. Son of a tried to help him, but this piece of shit let him die. Yeah, you did. If it's Kenny been. had helped, his son would be alive. And that's why I wish he <laughs> were dead for the rest of my life. Please, just go. Get out and never come back. Got that ride to make it if you want it.
I don't want it. I'd rather go by myself. Just for taking it. I like how I blamed him and he still gave me a ride. Kenny's a bitch. Well, this is as far as we're going. And it's far enough. Far enough, mother effa. You friendly? Trucks run out of gas. Fuck! Stay shut no matter what. I fucking mean it. We don't know who these people are. They could be dangerous. Worse, they could have let them right to us. Where the hell is your humanity? They would have died out there. Then don't we say let nothing. them. Let them argue between themselves. We can't themselves. trust anybody. We already know that. You'll have to excuse her. The hell he or anyone will. This is about survival. Do you guys not see what's happening? What is it? I... I have to pee. I'd go out there again in a second. I bet you would. Then just go! <laughs> They've got kids, Lily. <laughs> Those things outside don't care. Maybe you should go join them then. You'll have something in common. God damn it, Lily. You have to control these people. Carly and Glenn just ran out there. She's an asshole, that's for sure. That's what it takes. Well, you don't ah. have to be a bitch about it. <laughs> yes, Holy I love it. Shit. Son of a bitch. One of them is bitten. He, was bitten. he wasn't bitten. Hell, he, he wasn't. wasn't. We have to end this now. Over my dead body, we'll dig one hole. No, I'm cleaning him up. There's no bite. He's fine. Don't you fucking people get it? We've already seen this happen. We let someone with a bite stay in, and we all end up bitten. Shut up. We gotta throw him out, or smash his head in. Kenny, stop it! Ah. What do you do about this guy? Dad, it's just a boy. It, it's... Lily, I'll handle this. Put your heart, Dad. You need to calm down. It's either him or your son. I say it's him. Goddamn right. Out on his ass with those things. Everyone chill the fuck out! Nobody is doing anything. Shut up, Lily. And you, shut the fuck up. They will find us, and they will get in here, and none of this will fucking matter. But right now, we're about to be trapped in here with one of those things. What the hell are you talking about? He's bitten! That's how you turn! He's not bitten. Please stop this. It's upsetting him. Oh, I'm upsetting him. Upsetting is getting eaten alive. Dad, we get it. It's a big deal. Do you? You're not fucking acting like it. I'm gonna kill him, Cat. Just worry about Duck. Lee! Yeah? There's someone in there. It's just locked. Keys behind the counter. Probably. Hey, I'm not the bad guy here. I'm just looking out for my daughter. No, you're just the guy arguing for killing a kid. He's covered in muck. She'll find the bite. Watch! She won't. And if she does... The first thing he'll do is sink his teeth into his mom's face. Then, when she's dead, he'll probably pounce on your little girl. She'll turn fast. And then, there'll be three. Then we do what you say. We toss him out and save the group. Lee? <laughs> what the fuck, man? What other choice is there? <laughs> Finally, someone gets some sense. But we can't wait. We are tossing him out now. <laughs> I'm sorry, Kenny. He's right. This is about <laughs> yes. survival. Lee? This is my boy, Lee. My boy. <laughs> we can't. No, he's not bitten. Look, look, he's clean. Not a scratch. Not a goddamn scratch. What do you think about that? It's Lara. 
and I'm fucking sorry. Good. Look, we're fish in a barrel here. With all the commotion, we could be under siege any minute. Then we better start fortifying this place. I'll work on getting that window barricaded. Good. Dad, sit down. I'm fine, Lily. Dad, please. All right. <coughs> <coughs> Oh my golly, you're you're fucking pathetic. Man. Who was that? I better not have been Lee to help me. You okay? Just great, thanks. Uh, guys? Everybody down! Stay quiet! Wow! I gotta get in! Shut up! Is that the military? It's a knife at God for whatever it is. We almost <laughs> died because of this idiot. bitch and a Richie trigger finger. That was stupid. That was... Uh, uh, Dad! Shut up. Uh, uh, uh. What's wrong with it? It's his heart. My pills. Um, nitroglycerin pills? Yes, we're out. We've been trying to get into the pharmacy since we got here. Please try to get in there. Behind the counter where the pills are. I don't want to. Everyone else should get comfy and look for anything useful. We could be in here a while. I'm starting to think this drugstore isn't a permanent solution. You're right. This ain't exactly Fort Knox. What do you suggest? We need as much gas as possible so we can all get out of downtown Macon. Fast. Agreed. And I'll head out and get gas. There's a motel not too far from here, out towards the end of Peachtree. I'll work my way towards it and then loop back, siphoning what I can. You're insane. Well, it's gotta get done. Plus, I'm quick, and I know Macon. Local? Born and raised. If you're gonna do that, here's a walkie-talkie if you get in a tight spot. Hopefully, you won't need it. Cool. Clementine's got the other one. Check in with her and get back here as soon as you can. And you? What's your name? It's Lily. My dad's Larry. Keep a good eye on him. These boys will work on getting you your medicine. That's right. And you? You keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. It's Doug. You got it. And I'm Carly. Okay, Carly. You'll shift in Everybody's with Doug when he gonna needs die it. With Lee. For now, Lee get some rest. You're a good shot, and I'd like to keep it that way. You got it, boss. Now get him those pills. Central High Tech State. Papers a week old. Feels like years. You're a pretty good shot. Well, you don't fuck with a reporter, especially one that's three days out from her last cup of oh, coffee. Oh, God. I got Better get back to it. Yep. Whatever. He's fun. Heard or seen anything? Nothing, luckily. Wanna step outside, have a look around? <laughs> I'm not suicidal yet. No, the gate out there is closed. We can hang out in front of the store and be fine. Oh, huh. Uh, not right now. Alright, let me know if you want to. Shut up. I just wanna be rude to people. Check everything out. No, I'm sorry to hear your loved one was eaten by the living dead car. 
We can't let anything happen to Ducky. I know, hon. It's about that picture right there. I don't remember them very well. Yeah, you don't remember crap. We just Dutch need yet. to get back to Fort Lauderdale. We'll do our damnedest. Don't even come over here. Kenny? No cat. This son of a bitch would have let that man feed our son to the wolves. Stop that, Kenny. We were all frightened. Even I thought that maybe... Maybe we were going to lose our boy. I'm sorry, Katja. What if he... It's okay, Lee. From here on out, Lee, I need to know that you're on my side. It's not that simple. Fine, forget it then. Kenny, Lee's a good man. And we're all still strangers here. So I'm being a dick, <sighs> and his wife is still protected. you're right, hon. Anyway, Lee, what was it? What's the plan? Hang tight, I suppose. Seems pretty dangerous out there, so we ought to wait for things to clear up. You Ayo. said your family was from here in Macon? That's right. Where are they? Should we go looking for them? They, uh, own this place. They're... gone. Oh, sweetie. Cat. They were good people. I wasn't around much, but... yeah, they're dead. Lee, you got a second? Sure. Back on Herschel's farm. Yeah. I panicked, you know. I'm not proud of it. Yeah, you shouldn't be. Left the kid. You let that boy die. I know, man. I want him to feel guilty. What would it have taken? You free duck, you clear your head, and we get that tractor off his leg. That's what I keep thinking. I keep seeing his face. Good. You should. We need to be able to count on one another. Ha 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 ha! I love it. You're a man. You're a sick man for doing what you did. That was a nice little conversation. I enjoyed that one. Oh, let's go. How's he doing? I'm not sure I got your name. It's Lee. Lily. My dad's Larry. I was just doing what I had to earlier. Everyone was. You didn't have to call me a bitch in front of my people. <laughs> I don't need that shit, all right? It's hard enough to be in charge of people's lives without some dick cutting you down. And you should know, I didn't think he was in the right. You didn't say anything, and Duck could have been bitten. Sure, I guess. You're from here? I work at Warner Robins, the Air Force Base. Yeah, I know it. Pilot? Nah, just mechanical admin stuff. I deal with a bunch of shitheads and bureaucrats all day. Sometimes Ooh, complain if I'm interesting. lucky. You? I work up at UGA. What's wrong with him? He's got a heart condition. He takes nitroglycerin tablets pretty regularly. I've seen a few bad attacks that he couldn't get over and needed to go to the hospital. Yeah, that's uh, not really an option right now. I'm just trying to keep him relaxed. Was anyone here when you guys got here? No, this place was pretty wrecked. We pulled a couple yeah, of bodies that's, out of the office. That's it, your family's dead. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Did you know anybody here? Yeah, the owners, they were, uh, we were close. I'm sorry. We found an older couple in the office. Dad hauled them out in case they weren't really dead. He's got a temper. Ah, fuck you. Ah. Yeah. 
he doesn't mean it. It's just that... Yeah? Nah, now I'm gonna be a, a, a hypocrite. Families. He and I are a family. I'm just saying some people can't handle a temper like that. Hell, barely seems like you can. It's just his way. Don't make him the reason everything's screwed. Where's her mom? Savannah, I think. She's dead. Oh, you guys aren't together. Oh, uh, no, I'm not her dad. I found her in a house when getting out of Atlanta. She'd been surviving by herself. Yep. I think the girl's parents didn't make it. Oh. I heard an answering message. They were in Savannah. She was home with a sitter. It wasn't good. Well, she's lucky to have you. Thank you. I think so. What do you think about all this? What is there to think? The dead are up walking around, eating people, and turning them into more... more of them. Yeah. I mean, Jesus. We need to stick together and get through this. Look at this guy being I'm gonna get back to him now. Find anything? It's a photo of the family who own this place. Might help us track down the keys to the office. I know who you are. You're Lee Everett. You're a professor at Athens who killed a state senator who was sleeping with your wife. This is your parents' store. Folks around town know the owner's son got himself a life sentence, but I'm a reporter for WABE in Atlanta. I paid attention to that trial. Maybe you're a murderer, but I don't really care. Frankly, that's a skill that might come in handy. <laughs> Did you tell anyone out there who you were, or that you were tied to this place? No. I've been sticking to first names for a reason. You seem like an okay guy, and the last thing we need is drama out there. You've got this little girl to take care of, and look, don't make me wrong yeah. on this. Damn mean it. I don't plan to. Good, because if this lasts longer than a few days, and you're a detriment to the group, then we'd have a problem. I hear you. I'll just keep it to myself. I don't trust you. Well, you better try. I just had to say that because I don't. Clementine, she's a bitch. Have you heard from Glenn? Not in a little while. Have you heard from Glenn? Not in a little while. Everyone out there seem all right to you? Yeah. Well, maybe not the sick guy. Yeah, we'll keep an eye on him. And there was that thing in the bathroom. It tried to get me. I know. But you stopped it. Yeah, 
but I did. Because I'm your protector, Can Clementine. Can you do that more? Well, I'm not going to go looking for them. I mean, get the dangerous ones. I'm going to try. Good. I'm going to keep looking around. Okay. I'm going to leave you here, okay? There's nothing I need in here. Let's go. <clears throat> Wanna head back into the drugstore with me? Okay. Lee? Yeah? You're not bad, right? I, uh... Why are you asking me that? That lady said you killed someone. Was that because he was one of the things trying to eat you? Oh, was he bad? He was. He was. Try to get some rest, huh? How can I with those things out there? How are we doing? Good. Want to go have a look around outside? Let's have a look around. Okay. Let's just look around. Jesus. So. I can tell he's all they care about. And if one gets you, they eat you. And whatever's left comes back as one of them. How the fuck? I think it might be more than a couple days before all this gets sorted out. Yeah, I think so too. We better keep it down out of here. Man, that's a hasty fortification job over there. Yeah, it didn't work. That guy over there has the keys. How can you be sure? I found this in the office. That boy in the photo worked here. The keys being on him is as good a bet as we can make. Yeah, I agree. Just need to figure out how to get out there and get them. You wouldn't need long, right? Nah, just a few seconds. Maybe there's a way to distract them and buy you some time. It's a combination lock. Doc, you want to get this door open? About that. You've got the combo, right? No. Did anyone ever have it? Look, man, there were a lot of those things trying to get in here. And now we can't get back out onto the street. We're also a party to some egregious fire code violations. Did you guys try to get in there and get weapons? did, but it was too risky. And then a bunch of guys showed up and they tried. And what happened? Sure. I think they're most of who you see wandering around out there. <laughs> too bad we don't have a way to come out here and watch the news. Would be nice to know what's going on elsewhere. Atlanta's in rough shape, that's all I know. Damn. that lock off of there. I imagine going out the back door and around is out of the question. If we're gonna help Larry, we need to get this lock off of there. I can't reach that brick. I can't reach that brick.
Yeah, and that's a hasty fortification job over there. Yeah, it didn't work. The streets are too full of those things to get out there and search for those keys safely. Totally. Maybe they could be lured around the building or something. You go run up there and lead them away. <laughs> you don't seem like the high school track type. I am fleet of foot. Abstraction's not bad, though. Trapped down at the motor end. Hey, Glenn. We're gonna talk it over and send a group to come get you, all right? <laughs> awesome. I'll sit tight till then. Sounds good. I'm gonna hold on to this until we get Glenn back, okay? I'll take good care of it. What do you think? I think Doug's not great around zombies. You got your family here. I'll take Carly and her dead eye down to the motor end, get Glenn, and get back here as fast as I can. If that's what you want to do, somebody's got to. Yeah, I'm in. Good. Doesn't sound too bad there right now. Let me know as soon as you want to head out. I All right, job. I will. It's not much, but here. You sure? Yeah. You're under quite a bit of stress. Thanks. That's, uh, really sweet. Don't mention it. Thank you. Of course. Hey there. Hi. Everything okay? Mm-hmm. It's not damaged. Glad this place didn't get looted. Sorry to hear your loved one was eaten by the living dead guards. What are you messing around with there? A radio. I can't get it. To All right, guys, give me a one minute. I will be right back. Give me like two minutes break. I'm gonna get something to drink, and yeah, I'm gonna get something to drink and use the restroom.
I'm back. Sorry, guys. I was taking a bite of my food. So that's why it took me a little long. I was in the kitchen taking a bite of it. It's a work, though. Here, let me have a look. But I'm back. batteries in this thing what now you know that there are no batteries in that thing yeah of course i mean yeah no i can try to find some needs two thanks i wouldn't even really know what to look for looks like nobody got a chance to donate anything before this all went down Central uh. High Tech State. Papers a week old. Feels like years. I can slap my soda. I'm drinking a can of Pepsi. Usually I don't, but I'm too lazy to go to the store, and that's what was in the kitchen. I'll go to the store after this live. I don't know what to do. Let's. Sorry to hear your loved one was eaten by the living dead guards. I saw that already. I don't want to talk to him. Let's go in there again. Go out there. Dad's cane. He'd zip around here on it from time to time. Was he sick? Nah, he was okay. I actually saw him whoop shoplifters with it. <laughs> this cane's protected this place better than any guard dog ever could. Plus, he knew how to make it look cool. Like you would have. My dad gave it to me. See, dads are smart like that. We ought to clear this door for when we find the keys. Better get this door clear, huh? Can I help? Sure. Here we go. Watch your fingers in the drawers. Good. I don't know why everyone is crazy. Cause everybody is Clementine. Nobody does, I don't think. I bet my dad does. Okay, here we go. Come on, Clementine. 
gotta use your chest. Do you have kids? No. None of your business. You don't have a family? No. Let's just move this thing. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. Clementine's gonna remember that. All right, a little further. Why don't you want to talk about your family? Do they like hate you? Shut up, Clementine. Because they're dead. Oh, I'm sorry. You didn't know. I'm just sorry for being mean. Look, my family's gone and I just wish things would have been different. Yeah. I, uh, I, I got into a fight once. And what happened? And it ended really badly. After that, I wasn't allowed to talk to my family. That's so sad. Let's move this thing. I'll kill somebody. Ow! Are you okay? I hurt my finger. Is it bleeding? A little. I'll find you a bandage. Oh, great. Now I gotta waste my time finding a bandage for this one. Let's just get it right there. Let's have a look at that finger. Oh. It hurt. Let's see if we can do something about it. Let's get this cut covered up. Yes, please. There, much better now. Oh god, the heartfelt moments. The heartfelt moments. Yeah. What if my parents come home and I'm not there? They'll find us. I don't think they will. Think They're they dead. Will. They want you to be safe. We'll find them if we can. I've got my walkie-talkie in case they try that way. Stay close to me until then, okay? Yes. It's the remote to my dad's TV. Uh, the keys are on that zombie out on the street. Uh, the keys are on that zombie out on the street. Uh, the keys are on that zombie out on the street. I really need to get that key. How are we doing? Good. Want to go have a look around outside? Let's have a look around. Okay. Sesame. That won't work. I was kidding. It's universal. <laughs> Not that universal. I know, Doc. Oh we God. break that lock off and I can get out onto the street. It's doing what locks do. 
Damn, man, how do I get this door open? Why am I so lost here? How'd you end up here? Well, I moved here to live with my uncle. He does tech stuff and it just made sense. So you're local. You probably knew the owners of this place. No, not really. I've only been here a couple months and I spend a lot of time... On the computer? No, just doing my own thing. What about you? What's it matter? I guess it doesn't. When something like this happens, I suppose. All that matters is where you are, not how you got there. I can't even take the brick, so what are you talking about? Those things are sensitive to noise. We can use sound as a distraction. That seems like the safest of all the dangerous options. Those things are sensitive to noise. We can use sound as a distraction. That seems like the safest of all the dangerous options. A few seconds of searching and we'll know if he has the keys. Think you can do anything with this? I do. What's that? It's universal. I could program it to work with those TVs across the street. Let's just hope the power is still on. You can just do that? Well, I memorized all the codes when I was in AV. Let's try. Well fucking done, Doug. All that dork nonsense might save a life. Who's to say it already hasn't? That got a few of them to take notice. But not enough. Did you guys try to get in there and get weapons? I did, but it was too risky. Not a bunch of guys showed up and they tried. And what happened? I think Damn, what do I do? I'm stuck here. I forgot. There. I played this before, so it's not like I did. Let me see. Those things like TV. Or at least the sound of it. If they were louder, we might be able to clear the street. job over there. Yeah, it didn't work. Did you guys try to get in well, there and he, get weapons? We, sorry, guy. I'm just did, trying to figure this risky. out. And then a bunch of guys showed up and they tried. Yeah, and that's and them now. I think they're most of who you see wandering around out there. I can't reach that brick. Let's head back inside. Okay. Where is this freaking girl? Okay.
This battery should fit the radio. <clears throat> Great, thanks. I'm still looking for batteries for that day. Thanks, I appreciate it. I'm still looking for batteries for that day. Thanks, I appreciate it. Hey, Carly. You ready to head out? You got it. You? Yeah. Let's go. Oh, shit. Did you see that? Sure did. Be ready to shoot. Guys! Oh, man. I'm glad you're here. Jesus, Glenn. Uh, right then wasn't so hard. Can we get out of here before any of these things notice us? Not yet. There's a survivor trapped up there. No way. We gotta go. Now! Listen, I was out here looking for gas. And then, up there in the corner room, I heard crying coming from inside. Who is it? It's a girl. We talked and she got frightened. I was Come trying on. to get in and help her and she started yelling and saying I was bitten. I tried to convince her. So she her was wasn't. crazy. That's when all these guys came out of the forest. A couple almost got me. And I ended up hiding in the ice machine. Lucky you. Now let's go. We can't just leave her. Damn right, right we can't. You guys I'm are from your future. Over a girl. I'm saving her. With or without you. Glenn, I'm Think from your future. It, you. you will die save by skin, the hands so of Negan. Distress. I told you your future. Uh oh. Now we're gonna save a whole. Oh man, look at him taking the fight okay, out of that. This is the plan. <laughs> you don't know how hard it's gonna be to get her out of that room. Yeah, it's boarded up. So we have to kill every one of them in here. Quietly. Noise attracts these things. Now let's have a look around. Ready or not, here we come. I'm gonna find you. I wonder if there's anything in the pickup. Ow! Hey man, that drew some attention. Be careful. I'm done trying to punch out windows. I'm done trying to punch out windows. I think I found a pretty damn good way to stop these guys quietly. Now we just have to get it quietly. I'm done trying to punch out windows. How are you going to kill that one by the car without attracting the others? 
shoot that guy from here is probably a bad idea, huh? Their crawling attracts the others. We can do something with that car, I bet. If it weren't for that fellow looking near the front. Huh. He's not going anywhere. I think I found a pretty damn good way to stop these guys quietly. Now we just have to get it quietly. He's gone, and we can't use that much. Oh, man, I'm stuck on stupid. around for weapons. There's a truck over there. Maybe we can find you a weapon. Want to head over to the right? one by the car without attracting the others. Trying to shoot that guy from here is probably a bad idea, huh? I think I found a pretty 
damn good way to settle these guys quietly. Now we just have to get it quietly. I'm done trying to punch out windows. Oh my god. Smothering them to death. That's not really what I have in mind. Wow, it took me all this time to get it. a bunch of noise, and none with pillows. I'm done trying to punch out windows. What are you gonna do with that? I don't really know. Do you have any tricks for getting into cars? Not without tools, or making a bunch of noise, and none with pillows. Got it. That was sick. Push! Oh, really? Oh, 
Well, you got the ass. <laughs> ah, that's not. Finally got it though. Sorry guys, it took me that long. That could scramble a brain pretty good. That's exactly what I was thinking. Get him! Get him! <laughs> Bop, right there in the head, making sure that you're up and dead. Let's pick this guy. Oh, he's coming! I'll wait for him to get closer. Wait for it. Right there, in your face, motherfucker got ya in. Oh, get the axe, man. Get the axe. Dude, where'd your weapon go? Into that ice pick sized hole. <laughs> Holy shit. It's cool. Now we've got this. Are you two done? And I grab that. Two more. That should help. Let's go. Going up. Why don't you guys lag behind just in case this goes Just in down. case, you know. Okay. We'll be right behind you. Leave it up to me. Leave it up to me. Leave it up to me. Can't kill nobody but you could. Leave it up to me. Uh oh. Hey. Hello, guys. Face. I like that ass. Come on, it took us forever to save you, not open. Hello in there. We're here to help. Wait up. Let's go, guys. In a minute. If you open up, we can take you somewhere safer. We've got a group in town. No, no, no. She's in trouble. Miss, we're coming in. We're coming in. You might want to break through that board first. Shut up. You might want to... I don't want to ruin my axe like that. Stop! Just stop! Then open the door. Coming out. Come out. Oh, you're dead. Oh, God. I, I said stay away. We need to get you help. It's too late for that. Guys, she's been bitten. What? I told you, I said go away! Shoot her. I'm bit! Let me get kill let me kill her with the axe. Leave. Let's calm down. You could be fine. I won't be fine. My boyfriend was bitten. You get sick and you die, and, and you come back and you kill anything you can find. You have a boyfriend? Lynn. I don't want that. It's not Christian. Please. Just leave me. Please go. Okay, we'll leave. Come with us. What if you turn? What if you turn and follow us back to our group? I yep. know that was why I was locked away. Oh, we gotta kill you. What this happened to me? You have a gun. So can I borrow it? What do you mean borrow? Give it to me. I can just 
you know, end this, and then, then there's no problem. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Please, I don't want to be one end of them. End it. They're, they're satanic. Give it to her. What? You can't be serious. Do it. No! Then shoot her. Huh? I've seen what hell is like and it's coming back as one of those things! Shoot her! Help her out here. You're insane! Just take this thing! Can I shoot her? Thank you so much. I know how terrible this must be. We can't watch this. Let's go. We can't go yet. What? Why not? Because somebody needs to pick up the gun. Can't leave it. You two go on. Okay. Can I ask her? Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> I killed that pit. <laughs> Everyone all right? Yeah, we had some close calls, but Glenn is fine and... Well, yeah, we're okay. I've got a few canes of gas for your pickup in the trunk of my car. Good to hear it. And things back here? Quiet. Our friend is still in and out over there. He won't survive any more stress. The next order of business is getting those pills out of the pharmacy. Outside? Yeah, I got an axe now, B. Let's have a look around. Okay. Awesome. Now to distract those things carefully. Those TVs are on. And I'm sure they're making a lot of noise behind that glass. Did you guys try to get in there and get weapons? I did, but it was too risky. And then a bunch of guys showed up and they tried. And what happened? I think they're most of who you see wandering around out there. I, I we saw that already. I can't reach that brick. job over there. Yeah, it didn't work. I can't look at him like that. Did you guys try to get in there and get weapons? I did, but it was too risky. And then a bunch of guys showed up and they tried. And what happened? I think they're most of who you see wandering around out there.
There we go. Now's the time. Be careful. Keep an eye out, will you? Hey, bud. I know if you were there, you would have died for them. So, yeah, I'm gonna assume that's what happened. Did you find them yet? Give me a second. Hurry up, Lee. No time for that bullshit. I got to do this now, man. Hurry up. I got to do this. Bye. Are you gonna give me the satisfaction of doing it? Do it, D. There we go. And you destroyed him. God. There we go. Holy crap! Run! That's your fault. And that was close. But we did it. It's all that matters. I've got the keys. Great. God, you're amazing. Let's get in there. Come on, we can open it like this. Yeah, it was worth a shot. Keys it is, I guess. No. Yeah, Alright, I can't Keys open it, it like is, that. I, I tried, but it's not happening. Oh no. Shit. We gotta hurry. Up, se jodió la cosa ahí. Se jodió la cosa ahí. Hombres, no mueres. It's a dick can move. Will you hear me honking in the alley? Start getting people out of here. You got it. <laughs> Doug, Carly, and Lee, you guys make sure our defenses stay up till then. And Lee, I better take that axe in case I run into any of them on the way to my truck. Here you go. I that door's not locked anymore. Shit. You three, get on it. I'll get back as fast as I can. Stay away from the windows. <laughs> Get through this. You should know that I think you're a great guy. Shut up, Doug. Doug, if we don't make it through this, 
You should know. I should know what? Huh? You said I should know. Are you sure? Shit. Oh, shit. Oh. Okay, then. Come in time. Can you look for something to stick in between the hands? Something real strong, okay? Okay. Come on, keep it close. Nothing. Hurry up, Clementine. The window is screwed. Go. Don't go. I found something. Good, 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 good. Take it. I'll have to do. <laughs> what should I pick? Who should I pick? I picked the one with the guy. Bye, dog. Oh, my God. Let's go! You got dog. Ah! <laughs> you gotta move! Somebody else get eaten today. Even if he is an asshole. Thank you. Thank you, Kenny. We're gonna kill his father now, but thank you. Hey, Glenn. With uncountable severe emergencies in all counties, Georgia's cities and their current level of disaster are as follows. Atlanta, stage 9 catastrophe. Augusta, stage 9 I think I need to go. To Atlanta? Yeah. I got friends there. And I just can't stay here knowing that they could be trapped in that city. Sounds like nobody knows what's happening there. When we left a few days ago, could have gone either way. I gotta take my chances. gotta do and I gotta do this I respect that you guys be safe we'll try and Lee you know if this doesn't get better people are going to give up if they go from upstairs are you just gonna let them you told Carly to give her the gun yeah 
I did. Maybe you were right. I don't know how to handle something like that. Anyway, see you around. Bye, Glenn. Have a nice day. You're gonna die by the hands of Negan. But well, at least in the show you are. Oh, no. I think in the comics too you die. Either way you're screwed. And hey, the way kid. you die is not good. Close call back there. Thanks for picking me up. No problem. We have to take care of each other. Yeah, we do. I'm okay. You know, considering. I do, yeah. I can't stop thinking about Doug. We couldn't have saved him, could we? I don't think so. It happened pretty fast. I know it's stupid. We just met. And he was such a... It's just that... I think that I liked him. Well, I'm sure he liked you too. <laughs> you better have. Anyway, I'd rather be alone, I think. I understand. Wait, Lee? <laughs> yes. What is it? How did you choose? We both needed you. You picked me. I thought you needed the help. Ah, that makes sense. But it wasn't a choice like that. It, it was just something I did. I don't know why. I just wish we both could have made it, you know? Me too, Carly. What a fucking question. Instead of saying, hey, thank you for saving me. Oh, God. The Dumatron had this mini gun on his shoulder. It's all like pow, pow, pow. I thought Super Dinosaur was toast. But you know what? He wasn't. <coughs> and then. Hey, Duck, uh. You want to cool it for a minute? Shut up. Okay, sorry. I'm sorry, there's uh, not a lot of kids here. No, it's not that. It's... I got grabbed again. I was there, though. I fell, and my walkie-talkie broke. Glenn had the other one. So? It can't really help us. But... I know. It's just... I need it. I know it doesn't make any sense, but it's how I used to talk to my mom and dad. And now they're gone. It's gone. Maybe we can find you another one. I'll just keep this one, I guess. Lee, come here for a second. Nah. Let me go deal with this. Oh man, Clementine, another thing. What do you back want? off? You like my daughter? Not really. Good. Stay away from her. <laughs> or everyone here knows that Lee Everett is a killer. And I'm not talking about those things out there. You hear me? I ask you a question, boy. Then again, I wouldn't expect a convicted murderer to listen <laughs> to anything anybody's got to say. I know who you are. And I don't give a shit about what happens to you. But if anything happens to my daughter or that little girl you've got with you, <laughs> you watch your ass. Hey, Lee, do you have a second? My dad would be dead if it weren't for you. That guy Doug is dead because of me. Boom. You can't be like that. You're only one man. We're lucky to have you. I hope that's the sound of us winning this thing. Me too. This motor end's pretty damn defendable. We block off the entrances with some cars, keep someone on watch. We could stay here until the military rolls through. I actually agree with that plan. Me too. 
We got beds, we got water, and most importantly, we got light. They're worse places to call home. Yeah, you're right. You know, guys, I think it's going to be okay. You guys are all stupid. Ah, the lights went off. Next time. On The Walking Dead. Tell tell. Oh, look at that. What will happen next? I thought we'd be fine if we survived the walkers. Uh, we no weren't. expected they'd starve us out. I want you to have this, okay? In case you or Clementine starts feeling weak. You don't owe me anything, Carter. How you doing, Clementine? I'm really hungry, Lee. We gotta get food, Lee. Soon. Howdy! I'm Andrew St. John. We're from the St. John Dairy. It's beautiful. It Don't is beautiful. what happened with the walkers at Herschel's farm. You choose the kids this time. Something's coming, Lee. There's gonna be a war. The walkers don't worry as much as the bears. Shit's about to go down. Downtown. Oh, damn. You all fun down this bit? I'm just doing the same thing. No more, please. No more, please. Please, please. you. Dar for help. The Walking Dead. All right, guys. That was The Walking Dead. Tell a tell story, season one. I was sixty percent honestly. All right. Well, guys, that was The Walking Dead, episode one. I will come back for episode two. I hope you guys like this content. Let me know. Um, if you guys like it, um, anybody that took the time to watch it, thank you so much for taking the time to watch the stream. I appreciate it dearly. If you guys like my content, you already know what to do. Like and subscribe. Anyways, guys, I'll see you guys on the next video. Um, I'm definitely putting on more VR stuff. I think my next VR video will be on the Alex mod. I'm um, Half Life, Half Life Alex mod PT. I really want to try that. I got the mod, so I really want to play that. One. So I think I'll post that one next. But I'm definitely gonna post this ep episode too soon, um, before Sunday. Definitely before Sunday. Anyways guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys on the next video. If you guys like my content, please like and subscribe. See you on the next video guys. Thanks again for watching.